Hey guys, what's up? It's VFX Pro here, and today's tutorial will be showing you what and what not to do when using clean plates for your footage. And you know, clean plates are used for teleportation, visible, and all that stuff. So, um, let's jump right into Adobe After Effects, and yeah, we'll get started, and I'll show you. Okay, so now we're inside Adobe After Effects, and I already have three pre-made comps set up. Two of them are um, the basically what not to do, and la this last one is what you should do. So the first one. Now for this one, if I for example, actually should have done this after, because the background layer, for example, is like this, where I'm standing by the camera, causing a bad shadow, and then you see here is when I'm running out, and this is just where the camera stuff is, and the bench. So, um, to fix this without editing it out, you know, you should make sure that you're not filming an area with a lot of lines and shadows and stuff like that, because that can really affect your, um, you know, basically your video. Or if you are using shadows, make sure that you try to get the shadows aligned properly with clean plate and the normal footage and you can easily do that by running out of the screen then running back on and stuff like that but if you want to edit it out you all you have to do is basically um, there's many ways you can do this you can color correct this to match this and stuff like that but you see here that it's the exact same um, you know it's the exact same video it's just the clean plate is a little bit different so should never mess with shadows when doing that type of stuff. The second one is um, this, where it's where there's too much light. So for the background footage, you see here that the light in the background is, you know, of course, because it's sunny outside, is causing from this. But when you have your person there, the light is reflecting off the back pers the back part of my body, making it glow around, causing the background to change and you don't want that because it just looks really fake and stuff like that so you know never mess with that the third one however the lighting you can see that there is not too much lighting there's maybe some <clears throat> luminosity right here where the light is illuminating about here and you can easily color correct that but you can see here that there's not that much effect so you see here it's a little bit darker and then it gets lighter so all you have to do and go out here, go to layer new, adjustment layer, make a mask about here. Go into effects and presets and type in curves. Bring it down just a tiny bit, go out of it, and see if it matches up with it. So this one could it could be darker just a tiny bit. And then hit F on the keyboard and on toggle the mask. Feather that out quite a bit. And voila, you already have your fixed area. So it's perfectly fixed. And, you know, I would, like, go through this step by step and stuff like that. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and freeze frame this. But, um,. There is really, honestly, for this one especially, there is honestly no uh, editing that you could do unless you really wanted to make a detailed mask around this whole shadow or color correct it. So I would suggest in this case that you just refilm it. And, you know, you, especially if you're filming in grass, it's not that bad because the shadows are very light on the grass. But just always have good lighting. Or even have like a, you know, umbrella or something over the camera so that when that person's filming, their shadow is not being casted onto the actual film itself. For this one, um, you also can't really fix it as much, just don't have too much lighting. I mean, you can see here that the light is affecting here, and you could go into a layer, make an adjustment layer, make all these, you know, quick masks around here, but you don't, all the time, honestly, you don't want to have all these masks because mask make the video so much more time consuming in which you just spend your whole time basically trying to color correct your footage like this in which you could just reshoot better lighting and not too much shadows because 
over here you can put on curves and tone that down a bit take the shadows out just a tiny bit highlights and there is a little bit change to that but you can see here that it shows the blue and so you'd want to copy that take out these mask and do the blue so it would be around here and you just want to bring the blue up but that's still really bad and fake and stuff so yeah I just suggest doing this method of filming inside especially and there's, with not much lighting or just reshooting it with better lighting on your camera and stuff like that you can easily adjust that and stuff like that so yeah always remember this on how to make your clean plates work very good especially when masking stuff um please rate comment